Hey guys, it's SRC Reptiles, and today I'm making a little update with Raja. And I was going to make this uh, a couple days ago, or a day ago, and I decided to wait till I had everything in the tank set up and all that fun stuff before I did the video, because why even show it if it's just empty? So, here is Raja's old tank. It is a 3 foot by uh, 18 inches deep, and it's 12 inches tall. This over here is a Vision, I believe it was 332 or 332, um, that I was able to buy from a guy locally, and he sold it to me for the same price that he bought it. So I pretty much paid half of what it actually would have gone for brand new. Um, and just to give you guys an idea, these are like $500 brand new. It's ridiculous. They're really nice, and they're expensive. So... I was extremely lucky and blessed to be able to get something this nice for Raja because you can see this is three foot long so it's the same length but it is 18 inches in height and it is 28 inches in depth. This right here would be for a heat lamp normally but I'm not going to bother using a heat lamp since I obviously have his heating pad. Uh, it's got one thing of ventilation here and it's got one over here. He covered that one up with uh, plexiglass because he didn't want it to let as much uh, humidity out because obviously this also is mesh in there so there's three spots still there letting plenty of airflow. Um, and then it's got these really nice tempered glass sliding doors and these are super duper easy to install so I'll go ahead and show you what the tank looks like and if any of you guys have tanks that are like this command strips are your best friend because I have these right here these types of command strips and then, of course, these are the little sticky dealies that go on there. And that is how I attached everything in his tank. So we've got his bridge, and it's actually up off the ground because I can have it suspended now. Has his water bowl right here. And I always like the water bowl to right, be right up front so I can make sure it's still got enough water in it and that it's clean. We've got two plants here. We've got a hide here in the center. We've got one kind of partially buried back there. And then his humid hide is back here in the corner. I wanted it to be in a dark spot as well so that uh, he would be uh, in a safe place he'd feel like. We also have a vine up here at the top that he can reach from climbing on this bridge if he wanted to. We've got a really big plant here along the side. We've got a plant back there. We've got this one just laying here on the ground for cover. And then this one back here is attached if he wanted to crawl across it or something. Got a plant right here. So that's all that's in the tank right now. So I obviously love the command strips because you can just pull it and then just slip it right into place. And it's not like suction cups where it'll come loose. Like, the command strips might possibly fall, but it's super cheap to buy, like, these again to rehang them if you had to. Most of the time, though, they're pretty sturdy, and it's not like he weighs a whole bunch. So he's in his little travel container right here. So I'll show you real quick with these doors. They're super easy to put in, so I'll put the phone... Um, against something and then I'll show you me putting them in so you kind of have an idea. These are really nice. Like if you're even able to buy them used like I did, uh, they're definitely worth it because it's made out of a really thick type of plastic and I'll put the name of it on the screen because I don't remember how to pronounce it. I know it's, it's not hard to pronounce. It's just a word that's really big so I don't remember it. But um, anyway, yeah, I'll show you putting the doors in real quick. Okay, so the one that you put in first is the door that has the lock. And go up into the groove, which you have to find the groove, but go. Push up, and then you just pop it right into place, and it moves really smoothly. And then the other one here. And it's nice, too, because with having the temperature deals, which I'll pick it up real quick so you can see. Oh, actually, let me flip the camera around. It's nice because there's still enough of a gap here with it closing for me to still be able to have my cord here. Because this here is the secondary thermometer. I have the monitor, the heat pad. And then, of course, my actual thermometer is over there. And it's set to 87, and it has shut itself off because it went to 88 so this here tells me that that is reading accurate, and it's nice because it's got a suction cup. So whoop, all I'd have to do is actually just suction it on there, but I'm not going to right now. But yeah, as you can see, the door is really simple and easy to put on. It has a classic lock to it, which I'll pick it, stand up so you can see. 
just has a lock. It's like this. I believe you can buy them in like uh, hardware stores, like maybe Ace Hardware or Sutherland's. I, actually, Sutherland's is more of like an anything kind of mixture of stuff. Okay, but anyway, let's go and see. Go ahead and see how Raja likes the tank, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the doors again so that you guys can see a little bit easier. But you can see like how easy it is to in take in and out these doors for like cleaning and stuff. Because my old vivarium that I had made for me, like you could not take the doors out. Once they were in, like if you tried to flex them to bend them out, then they could break. So it's just like, that's awesome that it's not only tempered glass, but uh, that they're easy to take in and out of the uh, rail mechanism or the rail guide or whatever the heck you want to call that. I don't know. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and see how Raja likes it. Okay. And I will say real quick, to take the doors out, all you have to do is lift from the bottom and kind of tilt it this way, and then the top part will come right out. Okay, so... We'll get Raja out. Oh, he is looking around. I'm going to wait till he kind of settles down a second. Because I don't want him to mistake, because this is his feeding container. So, but here is Raja. He's... Quite large. He, of course, is four this year. So he is three and a half feet. So, oh, he definitely is checking it out, but I don't want to force him to go in there too quickly. So we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> Looking around, there's no water in there right now, buddy. It's funny because he's always cautious to actually leave the tank. Hey, that's not where you need to be going right now. <laughs> Yeah, go back in there. So it's kind of hard to see him. I should have, uh, let me see if I can turn flash on. Okay, now you can see. So he is checking it out back there. It's nice because you can see he's just at the corner there and he's almost to the corner back there. So... He's going to have so much space now, and it's just awesome that he's finally going to have this. And to keep it up off the floor, I have, which I'll show you real quick, I have these deals here, and they are super sliders. And then down here it tells the size, I believe, two and a half inch in height. And those ones do not have adhesive, so I had to actually super glue them, or not super glue, I had to hot glue them to the actual uh, tank itself for feet so that way the oh, he's just sitting there oh it's probably because I've got the flash on <laughs> but yeah he's just chilling now just hanging out so I had to clean the tank well actually let me turn this flash off real quick anyway I had to clean the tank with F10 which is a veterinary disinfectant and I cleaned it twice inside and out with the disinfectant and then I went over it with just plain cold water and there was still a type of scent in there from the previous animals so I left a little uh, bowl of baking soda and baking soda actually is really good to keep in like your refrigerator or in your freezer and it kind of helps absorb any kind of like nasty smells and so I had that in there for I believe two days and when I went and peeked my head in because I had like the glass doors on there and everything uh, when I peeked my head in there, um, it didn't smell anymore. So the baking soda does a really good job, but if you did have where you tried baking soda for a couple days and it's not doing much, you can clean with vinegar water, and that definitely will get it clean when it comes to the smell. Obviously, you will need to let it air because it will smell like vinegar, but just plain white distilled vinegar does a really good job of cleaning. You obviously don't want to make it too strong because... Uh, I think at that point you definitely need to be wearing gloves because it might burn your skin a little bit. I can't remember all the different precautions, but oh, I see him peeking over here. <laughs> I couldn't even tell he was slithering, but now I see that his body has indeed moved. Hmm. It's just crazy how big this tank is once he's finally in there. So he's definitely going to love that. And of course he has that extra... Uh, wait, no, actually, I was not able to put an extra hide in there. I forget everything in here. I actually had to leave that plant out just because uh, it needs work done to it because of there being some exposed metal that has rusted here on the top. And that's the bad thing about these plants. Sometimes you can kind of see it there. 
that metal that's sticking up out of there. They can cut themselves on that, so you just need to be really careful when you're getting hanging plants um, and making sure that there's not any metal that is able to cut them. Because obviously, unless you're taking them out all the time, like with my geckos, I can check on them to make sure nothing's going on. And you could easily just take uh, hot glue and cover that up to where it's not going to poke them anymore. <laughs> He's just hanging out. That's hilarious. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, this is just kind of his cage tour for now. Um, when I get... Oh, okay. Didn't mean to scare you there. Surprised him. Hey, stay in the tank for now. Oh, <laughs> he's like, bye. Um, since I have all this room over here now, because I am going to sell his old tank, um, I'm going to be able to put this tank here on the bottom shelf because it's pretty heavy, and I'd feel better when it's on the bottom now that it's just got plants in it and no scorpion. And I'll have this entire area right here to uh, put some more tanks so that I can move Blaze and Snickers out of the shared tank and then finally have their own individual tanks, which would be super nice. And I can get rid of all this stuff over here, and I can take this deal itself into my living room, and then his tank can be moved over to here, and then I can finally have access to my closet. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff will be happening, but this is definitely not just going to be right here for now. This is just where it fits. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video, this little update for Raja definitely has been a long time coming so I'm so happy that I finally was able to get him a humongous tank compared to what he had before. Obviously this did just fine for his first three years of his life but the fourth year which is this year uh, he definitely needed a longer and more spacious tank and of course with all this height it's going to be super cool to see if he actually will climb onto his bridge and up onto that vine up there. So it's going to be neat to see, and he looks like he's going into his hide. So, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, guys, though, before I continue to ramble on, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. It always encourages me to make more videos. And as always, have a good rest of your evening.